Hi, I'm Lee Patrick Sullivan with Energy Now, and today I'd like to talk to you about the power of the wind. People have been using wind as a form of energy for thousands of years to power sailboats and windmills. Without the power of wind, our ancestors would have struggled to travel across oceans, trade with other nations, and explore the wonders of the world. Wind is air in motion. It's caused by differences in atmospheric pressure and uneven temperatures on the Earth's surface when heated by the sun. Because the air over the land heats up more quickly than the air over the water, the warm air rises and the heavier, cooler air rushes in to take its place, creating wind. While the process is not as predictable as the rising and setting of the sun, it's just as renewable. In 2011, wind power generated about 2.5% of total U.S. electricity, although in a few states such as Texas, South Dakota, and Iowa, wind generated more than 14% of the power. Wind turbines harness the kinetic energy of moving air. The air blows over the blades, creating lift, just like the wings of an airplane. This causes the blades to move and through a drive shaft, this turns a generator that creates electricity. Similar to solar arrays, wind farms connect individual wind turbines together to generate electricity on a large scale. These wind farms can be built on both land and water. Building wind farms off the coastline of the United States is a new idea for capturing more of the wind's energy. Offshore areas have plenty of space, the wind is reliable, and wind farms built off the coastline would be much closer to major cities than those that already exist on land. In 2010, the federal government granted a permit for a wind farm with 130 large turbines off the shore of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Additional offshore projects have been proposed in the waters off Maryland and Delaware, as well as Texas. But of course, winds are variable and they may fall off just when power demand is greatest. So to provide a reliable electricity supply day in and day out, wind power must be matched with other flexible sources of power that can ramp up and down when needed, such as natural gas-fired power plants. And the larger the volume of wind power we have, the greater the need for flexible backup generation, and for power storage and adequate transmission facilities to maintain reliable service for customers by balancing electricity supply and demand in different areas.